shit! Oh my head. I think it's, we're just gonna have to. What let is it. going on now? It feels like reality is breaking apart. I don't think we can save Chloe. I think. What am I doing to time? I just have to make one simple change so I won't end up in San Francisco. Simple. Sorry, San Francisco. Chloe comes first. So, I guess we're letting Victor. Okay, I guess we're letting Victoria go to San Francisco then, if that's the case. But. What was the part with Jefferson burning that up? Or oh, are we back to where we started, basically? Like, five, we're back in the dark room? That's creepy. Um, yeah, we're back where we started. Oh, fuck! God, no! I'm back here again? I thought I fixed everything! What did you say, Max? What? Jefferson should be in jail, not here. Jesus. It's like you're back in my class. You're still spacing out. It might be cool if you took one of your patented selfies now. The transformation between the old Max and the new Max. Anyway, answer my question, please. Eat shit and die. That's probably what I'd say. Eat shit and die. Good answer. Good answer. Hey, your nose is bleeding. Probably gave you too big a dose. Sorry about that, Max. But considering you're about to die, a nosebleed is a first world problem. Your iris, that dilation like a shudder. The pictures you're taking of me now, too bad you pissed away your gift. You could have won the contest, but you destroyed your own beautiful photograph. What a waste. Sorry, I burned all your stuff. I got a little carried away. Fuck. He you burned my diary. Always. That's why I'm still diary. here. Especially since you've developed from nerd to hero within a week. There's something... weird going on with you. I just have to say something. I had a bit of a thought. Um, sure, he burned our diary. That's kind of why we're still there, but... If we had just stuck with being in San Francisco with the Everyday Heroes contest, I know like Chloe is a very close friend to Max, so she really wants to save her. But if there's one thing I've learned about time, uh, I've learned this, I think it was through watching Merlin on Netflix, and you can't... Everybody has a destiny, and you may change the path a little bit, but everybody is destined to come to an end some way, somehow. And I, I am sorry, I hit my mic. <laughs> or more of my mic boom. But I just think that's... I think that's true. It's just you can't change... I don't. That that's kind. Of, it's it's a very iffy subject, or a touchy subject, or however you say. It. But it's just. Yeah, it's just. I feel like Chloe is destined to die by the tornado. That's why. That's why it's such a. Uh, important thing throughout the game. That's why we keep seeing it. We keep having visions of it. But we'll we'll see how it turns out. That's just what I'm thinking right now. Whoa. <laughs> Did you see how crazy it is outside? No, because I'm down here. Like I said, something weird. There's that fear. Oh, Max, it's an honor working with you on these final sessions. I hope these images will be appreciated for what they truly capture. The loss 
of youth. <laughs> At least, that's the last lecture you'll ever have to hear from me. And I promise you, no more nosebleeds. Mr. Jefferson, please, don't do this. You don't know what's happening. Shh, 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 shh. Quiet. Quiet, Max. Please, don't do this. This was the part in the... What was it called? The fucking preview. I promise, this final dose won't hurt. What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? What? I thought that was an automatic weapon. Damn. No, David, no! Jesus, David Madsen, he's out cold. No more nosebleeds. But what Wait, do do? hold on. Can I, can I please ask you for one last request? Oh, you got me, Max. How can I deny that face? Turn off the lights, some water, one last picture, play some music. Would you uh, take one last picture of me? I, I want to be your best subject. I almost don't believe that, but I think you've finally learned from me. This final dose won't hurt. What? Shadow. David, watch out! How? How did you know that? Get the camera next to you! No gun. No balls. Jefferson, it's over! You are not going to stop me. Oh, shit. David Madsen. Of course. Well, this is what you get for playing cop. A real bullet. Jefferson, it's over. You are not going to stop me. Max, are you okay? Are you all right? Can you move? Yes. Thank you, David. Thank you. Don't thank me. You brought me here. Was it the text? Oh, he's Let's wrap up this son of a bitch first. Okay, good. He won't be going anywhere when he wakes up. Except you are going to prison forever. Or worse. Mr. Jefferson, now it's your turn to be captured in a moment. <laughs> oh, jeez. Save Chloe. Oh, I thought we he burned to... everything, including all of my photos. Shit. Warren! Yes! I, I can use that picture he took of us. No signal. 
Thanks, Mr. Jefferson. But you won't need this anymore. Ew. I just noticed what's on the wall there. Max, I'm sorry you had to be here. I better go outside and call Warren. Oh, David. Are you okay? Look at this place. It feels like hell. Jefferson was going to kill me. You got here just in time. I'm glad. I always suspected that son of a bitch. I never did. Until too late. You shouldn't have to suspect your teacher. He wasn't a real teacher. He just wanted to lecture. It was part of his sick plans. I wasn't surprised when you accused Nathan of drugging Kate Marsh. I thought so too. And Max, I'll never forgive myself for what happened to Kate. I feel like I helped push her off that roof. Kate was bullied up to that roof. But it was still Nathan and Jefferson who put her there. I knew Nathan Prescott was a threat. I just waited too long to neutralize him. Jefferson already did. They had some weird father-son thing going on. But Nathan killed Rachel, and Jefferson had to use him as a scapegoat. That pervert was pulling all this shit right under my nose, too. I could have stopped him and Nathan if only... I wasn't so stupid. No. I told Principal Wells Nathan had a gun and almost used it. But he didn't want to believe me. I should have been more loud. We all make decisions we regret. But I have to admit, I'm impressed by you. And Chloe. And your investigation. I had all the high-tech toys while well, you had each other. Maybe she learned from you. I think she only learned how to hate my guts. I'm sure you know I, uh, I hit her the other day. I know you're sorry. I'm not gonna make any excuses for my behavior. I tried to be a good soldier, but I wasn't so great. I tried to be a good father too, but when Joyce kicked me out, I had nothing. I'm so sorry about that. I didn't want that to happen. I should never have set up those surveillance cams. Who kept all those files? I'm going to tell Joyce I was wrong about you. She does love you. It's pretty obvious. I try not to use my service as an excuse, but... It's hard to come home after war. Most people don't know or care what it's like. Except Joyce. She gave me hope. A new life. And you saved mine. Chloe, is she... She would be proud of you. I just want to see her safe with her mother. I promised Joyce I would go see a family counselor. Uh, I'll start by apologizing to Chloe. I don't expect her to call me dad, but... Maybe she'll stop calling me step douche. <laughs> so, where is Chloe? Sorry, that word wasn't funny. What? Shit, I missed the question. Can I... I can't rewind. Oh, this is the worst thing ever. I should probably tell the truth. David... Uh, Chloe is... is... dead. This isn't happening. It can't... No, oh, God. That's right, Chloe's dead. Not Chloe. Max, are you... are you sure? Are you... Yes, I... I saw her. I... I saw a... Jefferson killer in the junkyard. Last night. Last night? When I was feeling sorry for myself in my hotel room? I promised Joyce that I would protect her and Chloe. How can I face her and explain this? 
I never even told Chloe that I... I... God damn it! I thought Chloe was still alive. You killed my wife's child, you sick fucker! And you took away my stepdaughter! David, wait! That happened. Max. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you had to see that. What a mess. What have I done? All that time I wasted with surveillance. I... Chloe, I'm sorry. Joyce, I failed you. My family. You, can't you didn't it. fail. You did your best. Max, you better get outside. You've seen enough of this room. David, uh, thank you for saving me. You killed my Chloe. Hold tight, David. I'm going to fix everything. We're still going to try and fix stuff. Oh, I want to burn all these photos. I hate looking at me like that. You said that literally three times now, but I understand. Burned. Can't look at my me. My God. What do I Jefferson torched everything. What? Now the only photo I can get is the one Warren took. We can probably access it and go inside with the syringe. Just looking at that makes me want to vomit. I can understand. I wish I could keep killing you. All this forever. expensive gear just for sick bullshit. Frank isn't a bad person, but. He can't be in denial about the drugs he provided. You won't be going, Jefferson. To any more shows. Why can't I just wake up? Let this you won't be going, Jefferson. To any more shows. Oh, Chloe. I'm gonna save you. For the last time. Well, what's this? Is it evidence? Looks like Jefferson was planning a major security renovation. With pre... No one would have looked for Nathan's body with this. Mm, okay, let's go inside. I lost again. I always lose. Hmm. Freedom! Holy shit. This storm is real. I need to find her. Yes! Warren, can you hear me? Never mind. Listen, do you have that photo you took last night in the parking lot? Yeah, but why? It wasn't that great a shot. Yes, it is, and I, I want it. Where are you? I'm at the Two Wells Diner. Pretty much trapped in here with Joyce thanks to this Armageddon weather. I'm expecting the ocean to turn red. I'm on my way. Come on, that's crazy. You can barely walk on the sidewalk outside. Seriously, Max, stay wherever you are. I don't think the storm is getting smaller. I'm kind of scared. That's okay. Me too. But it's not over yet, Warren. So hold on.
pretty expensive car. Limbo have been warning you people for years that our culture of sin and entitlement would lead to God striking us down. And I'm the one trapped in this fucking radio station. Somebody get me the hell out of here now! Now, God damn it, do I pay all those taxes for you? You have one new message. Message received yesterday at 9 p.m. Max, it's, it's Nathan. I, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I didn't want to hurt Kate or Rachel or, or I didn't want to hurt anybody. Everybody used me. <laughs> Mr. Jefferson is coming for me now. All this shit will be over soon. Watch out, Max. He wants to hurt you next. Sorry. Some crazy shit. By the way, what I said earlier about shut up about God and all that, it's just I just don't like when people, they always use that as an excuse, like, oh, bad weather, God is striking us for sins and stuff. It's like, no, it's just bad weather. What the hell? from getting hurt. How can I get out of here? How can I get out of here? I just got it. This makes me so sad. I just need to switch on the electricity to activate the sprinkler. Um. Oh no. He's dead. Electrocuted.
Some other people are here freaking out like me. Mr. McHughes, please take cover. Let me know if you're safe. And then... Here we go. And Wait. That was weird. Now they come up. Um, uh, I don't know if you enjoyed the thing. It's your last one. Sorry, Joyce, Eve and I get dishing in, but I'm trying to do good in my okay? Nice to be seeing Chloe, she's not here, and she won't answer her phone. You're with her, please. Please tell me there can, uh, then I can leave you alone. Uh, at least let me know if you're getting these messages, please, Max. Okay. It says, every time I leave, it says it's writing something. off. Now I have to find another way into the diner. Look at that. This tornado might be the end of the world, but not if I can change it. Max. Oh, Jesus, I am so glad to see you, sweetie. Are you okay? Yes. What about you guys? The two whales is barely standing now. I don't know if it's gonna make it through this tornado. Oh, poor Officer Barry and all those people out there. I know. There. Okay, get your ass inside. I have to get back to this gentleman on the ground. Lauren has been gathering all the first aid. It's not much, Joyce. But it's all we have. You okay, Warren? How the hell did I ignore all those warnings, Max? The snow? The eclipse? There's nothing you could do about it, Warren. I'm so stupid. Should have seen it coming. So Hello. glad everybody is safe here. Um, but I need that photo from Warren to help Chloe. Sorry. Let me out the f*** out of here.